My name is Jen Baldwin. I'm the Data Acquisition Manager of North America for Find My Past. Been with the company for about four years. Um, and I have the absolute pleasure of traveling from library to archive to historical society to museum and finding collections that we can work with in terms of preservation and publishing online. And one of the ways that we do that is by working with genealogical societies, historical societies, lineage societies, surname societies, military reactment groups, pretty much anyone you can think of that might have historical collections at their disposal. Uh, we want to talk to them. So I'm going to introduce you a little bit to Find My Past first. We have billions of worldwide records available on the site. Um, thousands of pages of newspaper print that go up on a weekly basis. We are managing the Percy Project, the Periodical Source Index, which I'll talk about in some detail in a few minutes. A world leader in online genealogy. We're actually housed and our offices are in London and Dundee. We have office in Australia. We have offices in Utah. Uh, we're really, really growing all over the globe. Our brands include Jeans Reunited, British Newspaper Archive, Scotland's People, Lives of the First World War, and Who Do You Think You Are Story, which after the last talk, you should probably all go to Who Do You Think You Are Story and create your own Who Do You Think You Are experience. But why focus on societies, and especially here in North America? We truly believe that societies are, in fact, the backbone of the genealogical community. There is nothing better than going to your local society meeting and sitting down with people and talking genealogy, right? How many of you are members of your local society? Any members of more than one? Five. I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the record. Ten. Any more than 20? I, I belong to 37 societies now. I joined two more yesterday, predominantly because I have a hard time walking by a booth that has a county in it that I'm interested in and saying no, because their resources are absolutely incredible. And we really, really feel that if you're going to do genealogy on a local level, you have to talk to the society, right? We all know that, right? These masses of amounts of knowledge are just absolutely incredible, and we should all be utilizing them for our research. They also provide these wonderful educational programs and, of course, that social growth, because my husband is admittedly getting a little tired of me talking about my second great-grandfather, Oscar, over the dinner table. My six-year-old knows Oscar by name and can point him out and say, Oscar, William, Harley, Mike, Jen, that's me. The, the value that these societies provide really, truly are unmatched cannot be duplicated in this community and I hope that all of you agree with me and if you do you should go over to the Federation of Genealogical Societies booth and their society hall and talk to them and learn about the society resources that are available to you but what does all of this have to do with find my past actually so what we're working on is programs that are mutually beneficial for us and for the society and any interested parties so that we can all gain from this benefit this is a proven concept. We've done this now with several organizations throughout the United States as well as in the British Isles. These are, again, mutually beneficial. There are advantages for both the nonprofit and for the for-profit sector. This brings a dynamic partnership and, in most cases, never-before-seen collections are coming online because of these relationships. We're promoting the mission and the vision of the society, and we're hoping that the society is doing the same. And of course, we're giving the society the global exposure that they need to grow and to continue to advance their membership. We have partners in every corner of the world. We'll start with the New York Genealogical and Biographical Society, who is over there somewhere in the, in the booth. We have relationships with the Tip of Texas Genealogical Society. I throw that one in all the time because I like their name. San Antonio, Southern California, the National Genealogical Society, NEHGS, the Historical Society of Pennsylvania, Ontario, many, many more. So all over the continent, really, all over North America, we're working to build these relationships. So what actually does all of this mean? How does it, what does it look like? What, is, what do we do? Well, we start with the very simple concept. We'll offer 50% off subscription to find my past world collection to every single one of your members. All you have to do is say, hey, we'd like your, your, your coupon. That's it. There's no paperwork. There's no red tape. It's a very simple program. We do online marketing partnerships, so you can blog with us. You can use our social media, and we'll do the same for you. We'll do a society event support. If you need a, a gift sub subscription for an event that you're hosting, just send us an email. Happy to send that. Of course, we want to help you preserve your records as well. So we have digitization programs available for your historical collections. And then we have an institutional product as well. So if you have a brick and mortar uh, building for your society, you can actually get access to Find My Past through a special program as, uh, through that as well. 
So let's talk about Percy. How many of you are familiar with Percy? A good chunk. All right, so Percy is the Periodical Source Index. It's an amazing collection. It's created by the Allen County Public Library. Uh, and we are working in partnership with them still. They create the index of all these amazing articles and we've put it online on Find My Past. And what we're doing is marrying the index to the images. So we're actually digitizing the publications and in most cases putting those images online for the first time. The index itself has over 8,000 titles. So it's great. That's awesome job security for me, actually, because my job is never going to end. <laughs> I have the responsibility of actually going to each of these individual organizations and saying, hey, we'd like to work with you. So if you can imagine how long it might take to sign one deal with one society, it can sometimes take six to 12 months to get, get the situation just right. And I have over 8,000 of those organizations to pursue. So it's a good thing I started young. And we are offering complimentary digitization of your publication to be a part of this project. So in many cases, the societies that I've talked to, I find that the, the reason they can't digitize their publication is because they can't afford it. It's a simple matter of resources and ability to access the equipment. We can help you with that. We can offer all of that for you. And in return, you get a copy of the material as well. So your society maintains control over the copyright. That's not ever going to be a question. We are only seeking permission to publish your material online, and that is different than obtaining copyright. You receive that digital copy of the images, and you have the freedom to utilize those images in whatever way you want, as long as you keep them in the nonprofit sector. So if you partner with a local library, that's fine. You can give it to them. If you have the publication on your website behind your membership wall, that's fine. You can still do that. We will use the images as well. We'll use them in cooperation with each other. So that's a little bit about Percy. We're not obviously just working with societies. We also work with archives, religious archives, libraries, historical societies, as I've mentioned, museum, friends of libraries groups. Really, any organization that has an interest in preserving history is an organization that we want to talk to. All right, so I am just about out of time, but I want to make sure that you have my contact information. So here it is. So you can email me directly. You can get me at societies at findmypast.com. That comes to my inbox. You can reach us on Twitter. You can come see me at the booth over there. I don't know if anybody noticed that we have this marriage collection that we've announced today, this week. It's pretty exciting, right? So just look for Jackie and JFK and you'll find us. Okay. But we're really, really excited about these programs and we're really intrigued, really, really anxious to talk to as many organizations in the country as, as we can.